Hello everybody, Tyron Cannon here and welcome to another episode of my Shane Warne Cricket Career Mode. Today we're going to be carrying on from where we left off in the last episode. We're 50 off 23 deliveries, Peter Hanscom's got 100 and I think we're in the lead by about 300 and a bit runs, so... Uh, no run there, actually I think it's 283 we're in the lead off because we had a first inning leads of 3 runs. Yep, 283 as I said. So, um, yeah, we're going to carry on from where we left off. Hopefully we can uh, get some more runs. That's a good shot down the ground. Timed it beautifully, and that's going to be four. So, good start to the episode. Shane Warne, been pretty handy with the bat in this match so far. Got 100 in the first innings. If you haven't watched that innings, go back and watch it uh, now. Um... But yeah, so yeah, we've got 50 so far. We've picked up three wickets as well. So we're definitely staring down man of the match honours. Yep. Work that across the leg side for a single. Get Peter Hanscom back on strike. And uh, I'm hoping Hanscom, Hanscom and I can uh, get a bit of a partnership going. We've done pretty well so far. Because um, I know John Holland's the last man, last man in. So I'm... A little bit nervous if Hanscom was to get out, um, then we'd have to bat with Holland, which I'm not particularly fond of. So, we'll um, see how we go. We might even get a promotion up the order after this match, considering how well we've been playing. No, that's well fielded. That is very well fielded. Okay. There's gaps on the leg side, so if he pitches it straight... That's going to be a wide, I think. Yep. Um, so if he pitches it straight or gets it really short, we can pull it away to the leg side. Um, they've put a square leg in place now, so maybe just ignore what I just said. That's in the gap. Just going to get the easy single. Alrighty, Freeman. I think it's Jacob Freeman, I think his name is. No run there. If it's not Jacob, you know, sorry, but <laughs> I'm going to check. Uh, Jared. Sorry, Jared. Um, if you're watching Jared Freeman, I am sorry. <laughs> well played, Warnie. See where we can. Probably should have just left that one. It was not going to spin back from pitching that wide, so probably should have just left that rather than playing at it. Um, but if he pitches it straight, which he hasn't, playing across the line again. Um, so I want to work it through to deep square leg. That's a wide. We'll just leave that one. That's terrible delivery. Terrible, terrible delivery. No run there. Okay, one ball left in the over. And uh, just the one run from it, which was the wide. So I'm going to skip forward again. Hanscom got some more runs off of that last over. Riley Meredith back into the attack. No run there. No run there. Okay, one ball left in the Meredith over. That's in the gap. We'll get at least two, I reckon. Yep, just the two, thank you. So I'm trying to think what's a good lead for us to get. I reckon if we can get Tommy Andrews coming in now. If we can get our score up to about 400, I reckon that would be pretty good. Um, but let's go couple overs at a time, but if we can get the score up to 400, I think that'll be pretty good. Then they'll, they'll be chasing 400 odd in the last innings. 
that might be pretty difficult. So we just want to have enough runs on the board. That's all. We don't want to uh, be too short. Which, if we lost two quick wickets now, I think we'd be fine. But it'll be a bit more of a close match. That's the shot I've been trying to play the last couple of overs. See if we can run to the throne to the wrong end. Good job Hans can put in the dive in. Didn't time that well. That was a risky shot. Could have got me out there. I didn't really see the leg slip in place. That's all right. I just smothered that one into the ground. All right. Hanscom still hanging around. They've got Freeman and Andrews, two spinners bowling at the moment. That's a good shot. It's going to beat the fielder. It has beaten the fielder. That's four runs to us. Beautiful sort of cover drive. Really nice. It's a shot down the ground. I am thinking about it. But it's probably best that I don't. No run there. No run there as well. Doing well, just hanging around. Doing our bit as the tail, just hanging around with the uh, established batsman. No. Alright, last ball in the over. What are you going to do with Andrews? Timed that extremely well, but it's just gone straight to mid-wicket, unfortunately. So, Hanscom got eight runs off that last over. So, pretty good from Hanscom. No run there. No run there. We've definitely slowed down a bit since we got our 50. I think we were 50 off 22 or 25. Now we're 64 off 52, which I was still going over run a ball. Um, but yeah, definitely slowed down a lot. No run there. Yeah, we'll run that. Might actually get two. We are going to get two. Nicely run. Alrighty, that's 320 up. we got 80 runs to get till we get our uh, desired total. Um, let's try and get to 350 first. So I'm feeling confident that we can get there. Yeah, we'll get that to finish the over. We'll run another two. Well run, Hanscom. Good throw from the deep as well, I should say. Alright, seven overs till the new ball. They've brought in a new bowler. That's it. We got not out again. Alright, let's uh, figure out what happened. They're none for 77. We're coming in to bowl. So, hang on. Hanscom got out by Bell, and then Tommy Andrews got out. Tommy Andrews got John Holland out. So we're stuck. Not out again. Which is pretty... So our average is like 174 or something ridiculous. Um, 
All right, let's go around the wicket to begin. Let's uh, get started. First ball of our spell. No run there. So chasing down 328. So they've already 70 runs to the good. 77 runs to the good. Um, he's edged it early. That's probably going to go for four if the fielder doesn't chase it down. And he's going to get there. Well done. I thought about a third, but just settled for two. Um, Alright, so I think we've got a good field in place. We just got to keep bowling to a consistent plan. It's another edge to that area. Unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna change the field. I'm taking out I'm taking out short leg and I'm putting in a third slip. Cause we should have had two wickets by now. Alright, last ball of the over. Four runs off it, both of them coming off edges, unfortunately. So, not a typically expensive over in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, it could have been less expensive. Yep. Catch! Oh my god! Will one of you just catch the ball? Run out. That's uh, Ward's 50, 51 off 74. Uh, this will be our first crack at Jewel. Um, putting a fourth slip in. This is ridiculous. Because we should have three wickets by now with that field setting. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. So we got four slips in place. We got a silly point. And we got three other fielders on the offside. Nobody on the leg side whatsoever. But we're bowling wide outside off stump. So we should be due for a wicket. I'm feeling like we're, we're going to get a wicket. We've just been bowling really well. That's right, just the three off the over. Tasmania, none for 84. None for 90 now. Well fielded. Okay. Catch that! Finally. <sighs> well deserved. Got a ripping catch by uh, Maddinson as well, by the way. Oh, it's Pattinson, not Maddinson. Um, Caleb Jewell gone for 31. Charlie Wakim coming in now. Um, Got to adjust our line a little bit. There we go. So one for seven, we're on the board. We are on the board. No run there. Three dots, four dots in a row rather, and a wicket. So doing very well to begin this over. Alright, what are we going to do with this one? 
Wicket Maiden. So Tazzy, one for 90, chasing 320-odd. I believe it's 320-odd. Um, anyway, 328. So they need 230 runs to win. You'd probably say we're in the box seat at the moment, just because we've already got a wicket. I mean, if we can get another couple of quick wickets, we'd definitely be on top of the game. Um, but we just have to see how it goes, to be honest. Well, Kim's just happy to leave these wide ones. That's fine. I'm, as soon as he goes to play one, he'll edge it. I've got, I've got the feeling. It's all good. He's just leaving them alone. Not much happening at the moment in terms of me conceding runs or taking wickets. Just back-to-back -back maidens this will probably be. Yep, back-to-back -back maidens. Tazzy, 190... Sorry, 1 for 98. Whoever's bowling up the other end is being very expensive. Ward's just raced onto 69 now. This should probably bring this in a little bit. Let's try and bowl a little bit straighter. Hopefully it doesn't work it across to the leg side. Cash oh my god! I can't put enough slips in. I've run three. They went straight between the wicket keeper and first slip. Nothing much we could have done there. It was a good ball. We suckered them in. That's disappointing. Okay. No run there. Alright, one last ball in the over. And they've left alone. So Tazzy, one for 105. We're one for 10 from our five overs. Doing very well, being nice and economical. And all of those runs, by the way, have come off edges. None have actually come from, uh, like, good shots. So, we could, we could realistically have four, or that's another edge, bloody hell. We could realistically have four or five wickets. I'll go for another boundary, I reckon, yeah, and it has. We could have four or five wickets by now, with the way that we're bowling. There's no leg slip in place. Um, we don't really need a leg slip. Because you can't really plan for those kind of shots. Rather, you can't really set fields for those kind of shots. That's okay. We're still bowling good line and length. <sighs> Plane a miss. One ball left in the over. Let's go for a top spinner. Give it a bit of bounce. Should take a second wicket. Yep. He's worked that across to the leg side. He's going to get two, I reckon. Yep, so six off the over in the end. Uh, Tasmania, 115 for one, chasing 328. Okay, we've been taking out of the attack there. 190 for 5 now. Alright, let's figure out what's going on. So we've got Duran on 32 and Neil Smith's on 10. So, I'm probably feeling more confident bowling to Duran as he's a left-hander. But we'll see how we go. We will see how we go. Yes! Told you I felt confident. 
He's just edged it onto his stumps. That's another wicket for us. Jake Duran gone for 32. Tassie in all sorts at 6 for 190. Tommy Andrews coming into the attack. We're 2 for 16 off 6.2 overs. Four wickets to get. They need 138 runs. I'd say we're probably the favourites. I've just got to be mindful of the time because I've got to go to work at 2 o'clock. My work starts at 2 o'clock rather and it's currently 12.57. So I can... I've got to leave in half an hour. So we should be fine. This won't be a super long episode. But if we can get another wicket, I'll call it an episode once we get another wicket. Okay. All right, Wicket Maiden, six for 190. <sighs> okay, we pitch it up a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit straighter. Not too straight. There we go. That's better. How is that? Oh, I want to have a look at that again. Uh, big eye. I reckon he's hit it, though. Oh, pinched outside off and it's missing. It's close. We're probably not going to get too many LBWs with this field set. Um... Just unless the ball turns like an absolutely ridiculous amount. Right there. Which I don't expect it to do. Um, but we'll see how we go. Right and that's their first sort of runs out off a half decent shot. All the other runs I've conceded have been off edges, so. Oh, they're going for a third. Come on, Warnie, that was very slow. Uh-oh, I did not mean to pitch it there. Okay, end of the over, that's drinks. And I reckon we're going to call it an episode there, guys. So thank you for watching up to this point. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you at the beginning of the next episode where we're going to continue uh, hopefully bowling Tasmania out. See you guys then.